Okay, y'all, there is so much going on. There's a lot going on this week. Uh, so I decided to give y'all something, talk about something real quick and funny because I can't believe, well, I can believe that she said this actually. <laughs> all right real quick if you have not heard the news my new album will be out this friday the 13th it's spooky season y'all already know what's up uh check my description box for the link to the itunes pre-order the spotify pre-save y'all know what's the t it's seven songs shout out again to devin for doing this amazing art it's giving vampire grim reaper seductress you see, you see what i'm saying so yeah very excited can't wait for y'all to hear it so let's talk about what caitlin jenner said and i also want to talk about george santos at the end because i mean <laughs> two peas in a pod bruh <laughs> two peas in a pod caitlin jenner said trans people don't like me because i'm white i have a job caitlin jenner says that her trans critics don't like her because she's uh, white and she's she actually works for a living <laughs> let's keep going let's keep going girl the failed republican governor candidate that's what i that's what i refer to her as uh made the incendiary claim in a new interview with the uk paper the evening standard while promoting of course a new series for the card you, you already know you already know how these people roll uh, celebrity correspondent Tina Campbell asked Jenner about a critic from the trans community featured in the series. And this is what Miss Mamas had to say. First of all, I have met so many wonderful trans people that just do wonderful things and they're great people. But there is a portion, uh, because of social media, there's a very small portion that has a very loud voice and I certainly have seen that. Jenner has been criticized by advocates for trans rights for her vocal opposition to trans women and girls competing in women's and girls sports earlier this year the formal olympic gold medal winner launched fairness first a <laughs> geez, a political action committee that aims to fight the radical gender ideology put parental rights at the forefront of education and keep boys out of women's sports uh she goes on here gender continues I've had trans people pick at events that I'm at, stuff like that, and be very mean on social media. They don't like me because I'm white. I have a job. I actually work for a living. I've been successful. <laughs> Girl, this is this is so interesting because it's like, Mama really thinks that after she's done trying to, you know, uproot trans rights and bulldoze trans people and get in these positions of power and take a huge shit on the LGBT community. Like, does she really think that these homophobic, transphobic conservatives are going to accept her silly ass? I don't know if she thinks that she can, like, make herself uh, seem like one of the good ones <laughs> to these conservatives, but they are transphobic. I don't know what she... It's just so... And then to really be doing all this and think that people don't like you because you're white and you you're employed the extreme amount of cognitive dissonance it takes to even put that put that sentence together and spit it out in a fucking interview <laughs> so when the interviewer suggests that uh the trans community may have expected jenner to be a messiah when she came out in 2015 which i don't i don't know maybe some of y'all did but i'm sure black trans people are just <laughs> we're looking at jenner like okay <laughs> i really don't know who was looking at caitlyn's rich weird ass <laughs> as some i really don't know as i don't know who really thought that she was gonna come out here trying to save the day bitch like i don't know did that does that seem like a kardashian or jenner kind of mo to you does it seem like that kind of behavior to you look at what look at who they are look at what they do they don't give a they, just because they well, some of them is queer now or you know part of lgbtq community now don't mean they give a fuck <laughs> Look at who they are, like, come on. So yeah, she said, you bitches is hating just because I'm successful, bitch. I actually do shit. I actually get up and do shit unlike you lazy bitches, unlike you poor bitches. <laughs> unlike you black poor bitches, bitch, I get the fuck up, I do shit. You know, you bitches mad because I'm fucking lily white, bitch, I'm alabaster. You bitches mad? <laughs> anyway, girl. So yeah, in response to uh, the interviewer's statement there, uh, Jenner said that before coming out as trans, she thought, maybe it's time to take care of myself right now. And maybe in doing that, I can make a difference. And it's just like, yeah, girl, you making you making a hell of a difference. <laughs> you mean? Now, 
I mean, it's it maybe not the difference that a lot of other people envision, but you you definitely doing something. You saying something. Then she says here, I don't want to be a trans activist. That's not what I do. I, and and we know that, babes. <laughs> we understand. We know that. We know that. Uh, I want to be a trans example. And like I said, you might be an example to some people. And those are the kinds of people that my ass, that my black ass stays away from. All right. She talked about how good her life is now. And, you know, she can be herself. She doesn't have to lie to anybody. I don't have to keep secrets. She said, I felt that my whole life at the same time. However, prominent members of a generous political party are making it harder for trans people to be themselves by passing laws banning gender affirming care for young people, restricting which bathrooms and other public facilities they can use, passing vaguely worded anti-drag laws that critics say can be interpreted as outlawing transness and generally making it harder and more dangerous for trans people to exist openly in society but jenner doesn't seem particularly concerned about that oh trust me we know she said this is me like it or not uh if you don't like it fine i don't need you we know we know you've made <laughs> you've made that very clear i personally would not want to be isolated as a queer person on a lonely island in republican land but you know to each their own <laughs> babes <laughs> you gonna do all this shit and uh they still gonna hate your ass like that's the thing that's like really at the end of the day it's like, we're going to watch you flail. We're going to watch you say, oh my goodness, hey, to the Republicans, hey, I'm one of the good ones. See, look what I'm doing, look what I'm doing. And they're going to they're gonna use you for whatever they can. They're going to squeeze every drop of their agenda out of you that they can. They're going to put you in the forefront to get some shit done. They're going to move you like a chess piece around the board until they, they have exhausted your ass and then cast your ass aside. Your silly ass tried to run for fucking governor and lost. Like, it's just like, girl, please please and just to clarify the reason why we don't like your ass is the same reason we don't like george santos who by the way was in the news this week i'll talk about that a little bit later but yeah we don't like you the same way we don't like george santos because he was pushing anti-lgbt shit but as vanity fair says here when he was living in brazil santos enjoyed drag particularly in at least one drag show and went by the name kitara Hey, Katara, what's tea? It's giving Avatar The Last Airbender, mama. Hey, Katara. Unlike all of Santos's lies, there is absolutely nothing wrong with dressing in drag or expressing one's self, however one sees fit. The problem, of course, is that Santos apparently does not think other people should be afforded such rights. As the New York Times notes, Santos has embraced right-wing policies that many LGBT activists have decried as discriminatory. For example, Florida's bigoted Don't Say Gay Law, which the then-candidate voiced support for in an April 2022 Facebook video saying, Hey everyone, George Santos here. Uh, as a gay man, I stand proudly behind not teaching our children sex or sexual orientation. The law prohibits teachers in grades K through three, and now I'm sure that shit is all over the place, from discussing gender, identity, and sexual orientation in any way whatsoever and has led to educators being warned to not wear clothing with rainbows on them and to get rid of safe space stickers and photos of their same-sex spouses out of fear of being prosecuted. Now, this article is a bit old, um, so by now, the don't say gay law or whatever has already been expanded to even more great levels. So you got his ass over here on the fucking Republican side having performed as a goddamn drag queen trying to sh take a shit on LGBT rights. It's absolute. It's an absolute mess. I mean, can't even talk about it. got straight people, got their motherfucking partners and, and and wives and husbands all over their motherfucking classrooms, and a bitch can't even, and a gay uh, teacher can't even fucking talk about their family. And of course, it's even more shit than just that. But yeah, and Santos, by the way, has just been charged with conspiracy, wire fraud, false statements, falsification of records, <laughs> aggravated identity theft, and credit card. Fraud, that's how you know, <laughs> no shade, but these are really, you know, some stunt queen ass crimes. You really tried to hide the fact that you was the queen, mama. These are some stunt queen crimes. The U.S. Attorney's Office said Santos devised and executed a fraudulent scheme to steal the personal identity and financial information of contributors to his campaign. For example, in December 2021, one contributor, uh, the contributor, 
texted Santos and others to make a contribution to his campaign, providing billing information for two credit cards. Never give a stunt queen your credit card information, mama. <laughs> never give these, never give the stunt queen. Now, you know that's a stunt queen. He been lying on his resume. <laughs> he been lying to get into con oh, to I mean, you lying on your resume to get into Congress, babe? You were stunt queen, right? So apparently, George Santos used that credit card information to make contributions to his campaign and affiliated political committees in amounts exceeding applicable contribution limits without the contributor's knowledge or authorization to mask the true source of these contributions and thereby circumvent the applicable campaign contribution limits santos falsely identified the contributor for one of the charges as one of his relatives <laughs> In the following months, Santos repeatedly charged the contributor's credit card without the contributor's knowledge or authorization, attempting to make at least $44,800 in charges and repeatedly concealing the true source of the funds by falsely listing the source of funds as Santos himself, his relatives, and other contributors. On one occasion, Santos charged $12,000... <laughs> Santos charged 12 stacks to the contributor's credit card, ultimately transferring the vast majority of that coin into his personal bank account. <laughs> Girl, he is running off with a bitch. He said he got a condo on his wrist, bitch. He said he go, he said, ice me out. <laughs> Santos said, ice me out. I see yo, Viz. I see y'all. Hey, Viz, that shit is that shit is really wild. And to me, I'm just like, you're working in government, right? So you know the power that the government has firsthand. Why do you think that you can transfer some shit? I mean, 12 fucking stacks to your personal bank account and nobody gonna give a fuck. Girl, you are a drag queen in fucking in Republican Congress, bitch. They're going to drag your dumb ass. What do you think is gonna happen? You thought you could run around like the rest of these bitches? Corrupt and edgy, like girl, you, you had a, a wig on and some lipstick, bitch. You can't run around like the rest of these hoes. You can't, you can't do that. <laughs> girl, that is a stunt queen for your ass, bitch. He said, I'm gonna swipe that card and just go on a shopping spree, bitch. He zelled himself, bitch. Like, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> you got to. He apple paid himself. He fucking cash tapped himself also somebody else's car, bitch. Stunt queens, gay coons, queer coons, if I ever st seen them before. Like, two of them. The two of them. Santos and Caitlyn Jenner. They are queer coons if we ever seen them. <laughs> if we ever seen queer coons before, bitch. Tap dance and fucking queer coons. I ain't. Never, I mean, we already talk about like the regular, you know, Nick, the black coons on here. But bitch, these are queer coons. Like, for real. Like, <laughs> get me off this planet y'all thank you so much for watching love y'all so much uh, make sure you check out my description box for my patreon weekly podcast on there and also uh of course the pre-order and pre-save to my new album gag reflex that will be out this friday i hope you have an amazing rest of your week and a good goddamn evening I'm